Israel-Gaza-Iran War News Live Update Iran plans to install 3,000 electric vehicle charging stations by March 2025. Abbas Ali Abadi, Iran's Minister of Industry, Mining, and Trade, reportedly promised that all of the country would have 3,000 charging stations for electric vehicles, EVs, by the end of the current Iranian calendar year. Present at the National Auto Industry Day ceremony, Ali Abadi stated, we need to move towards making electric cars. Currently, 120 million liters of gasoline are consumed throughout the country, of which we need to import 7 million liters. Therefore, making electric vehicles is a solution to overcome the imbalance in gasoline supply and demand. The objective is to start with the battery and preserve energy, he noted, adding that domestically built components like the engine, gearbox, control system, and battery are vital for electric cars. Speaking about the global importance of the car sector, the minister stated, in 2023, the world auto industry revenue total $3,350 billion, which makes this business the first in creating income in the world. The official claims that the automotive industry contributed 8.40 quadrillion rials, or around $16.8 billion, to Iran's GDP, meaning that it contributed nearly half of the country's entire revenue. The Iranian calendar year, finished on March 19, saw 37 different automakers crank out 1,335 million vehicles, the official said, making Iran the 16th largest automaker in the world. Ali Abadi stated that the current calendar year's manufacturing objective for the industry ministry is 1.7 million autos. He predicted that Iran will move up the ranks in the automotive industry from 18th to 16th in 2021 and 2023 and that if production stays the same this year, the country will reach 15th. Iliabadi claims that 12% of the country's GDP comes from this industry, which employs 900,000 people. Hassan Karimi Sanjari, Iran's manager of the electric vehicle project, announced in February that 2,500 EVs would be joining the country's public transportation system. A proposal calls for the addition of 2,500 electric vehicles to the public transport fleet, according to Karimi Sanjari, who was speaking about the country's electric car import strategy. Keshem Island, an Iranian customs facility, welcomed its first consignment of imported hybrid cars later in May, according to the director of the Keshem Free Zone Organizations, QFCO, Customs Office. According to Amir Ali Davud, who spoke to reporters, all of the imported vehicles were brand new. He went on to say that the public transportation fleet will be using a few of the imported cars, which include a Toyota Corolla, various Mercedes-Benz models, a Toyota SHR, a Toyota Camry, a Lexus, UX, and 18 van models. He said that one of the dependable import and export companies had brought the vehicles to Keshem Free Zone, and that customs clearance and plate numbering had begun soon after. As per the March 2024 agreement between the Keshem and Kish Free Zones and this import-export company, he mentioned that Kish Free Zone will receive some of these automobiles. He also mentioned that discussions are currently taking on with other free zones in the country over the delivery of these cars. He further said that the imports of vehicles had been authorized by the relevant Iranian government agencies and that they were in compliance with international CCC and GCC standards. Davud also mentioned that the Keshem Free Zone will be receiving additional shipments of imported autos in the near future.